Namaste Pisces. Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal the High Priestess. This is a bonus reading for all my Pisces. Um, thank you for all the likes and shares. I really appreciate it. I also appreciate all the um, patience you guys have while I was sick trying to heal. And uh, those who... Okay, so Pisces, I'm back. Welcome to my channel. This is Crystal the High Priestess. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces. Sun, Rise, and Venus. For Pisces. This is a bonus reading. Well, the world looks like traveling, thinking about booking a trip, or you might be thinking about a retreat. Please follow me on Instagram. I will be doing a yoga retreat, a yoga retreat 2021 around Pisces season, February, March season. Okay, so let me clean my table. And if you guys can support my channel by donating, I would really appreciate it. Ooh, okay. Here's the Queen of Cups, um, and someone is laying in his pain, Nine of Swords, or someone is mentally feeling a lack of love here. Yeah, from, yeah, the lack of love with the Ten of Cups reversed. Nine of Swords, self-sabotage here. Ooh, we have a flipper here, and we have the Hermit, so definitely going within, okay? Someone, there you go. Knight of Cups reverse and the King of Cups. Wow, Pisces. A lot of emotions and a lot of water. So we do have a couple here and a young energy. Pisces, let me tell you something. You have options here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All Pisces, Cancer. The Queen is here, the King and the Knight. Wow. What kind of story are you telling me here? First the Queen came out, the King came out, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, so you're not trying to rush in love because the Knight of Cups is someone is a Pisces and then you have this King of Cups, which is a Cancer. Um, someone is not trying to rush in love. Someone is trying to take their time regarding love here. Um, so you have all the mate, all three signs is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Wow, you have the King of Queen. So and what's underneath the Knight of Wands? Someone was quickly... A young energy that you're just not with it anymore. Third party in the Seven of Cups. A lot of water here. Okay, Spirit. What do we have for Pisces? Um, let me give this a hard shuffle. Thank you for those who supported and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, because people will say, oh, why is it so in your bosom? Nine of Swords wants to keep coming out. Also, the King of uh, Wands is reversed. Aries, the Sagittarius energy. Um, so it might be a King of Swords, a King of Wands. I'm sorry, Pisces, as well as your energy filling this Nine of Pentacles. You and the in the uh, Water signs, Fire and Water is filling this energy. Queen of Pentacles is now here reversed. If you're a male Pisces, maybe you had to make a choice. And end it with a with a, a, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's the message for Pisces? What is the hidden secret? Mm. What is the hidden secret? And look at all these cards that came out. <laughs> and then a Five of Cups. Someone is in, in mourning. Someone is in pain here. You do have the Three of Wands and the Strength Reverse. Someone is losing their strength and becoming weak-willed. Okay, so you have the Ten of Cups, which is like running out of emotions here in the Three of Wands. So someone is running out of emotions. Someone is running out of patience and feeling weak-willed. There's a lot of like emotion going on here. Um, then you have the Ten of ten of uh, Wands reverse, getting rid of heavy burdens. Let's get two more for Pisces Spirit. All right, so we got three more. King of Pentacles is reversed at the bottom. 
you have the six and a hangman. So someone might feel stuck regarding a, a past relationship or someone from the past restart. Someone from the past returned and left you stuck or you feel stuck and they might have you in a third party or you have someone else in a third party with the two of pentacles. Because it's, it's you, you need to make the choice. I also have some new cards coming in the mail for Pisces. Now we do have this page of cups at the bottom, so we might be dealing with a lot of water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Leo is here, another Pisces again. And some fire. Airs, Yale, Sag. So let's see Pisces partner. Let's see what the partner. Now, because this is our energy, we might just be honing into our own energy because there's so much water here. We might be very emotional at this point or over emotional. Pisces, especially if you have Virgo in your chart, you do have the Three of Pentacles. So someone wants to work on things, or someone wants to find a better, um, a better job to support you or support this relationship, or someone wants to re really work hard. If they wasn't working hard prior on this relationship, you also have the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Someone's feeling left out in the cold here. Um, Pisces partner, wow. So you do have the devil card reversed and the three of cups reversed. So someone was is toxic, okay? And someone has an option as well, the two of coins. Both of you are trying to make a choice regardless of disagreements, okay? Pisces partner. Let's see. Ooh, did you guys see that? These are it, all right? I don't even know. Wow, there's another queen. And the Ten of Cups came back out. Ten of Wands, I mean. This heavy burden came right back out. So Spirit says, you're going to keep it out for the partner. So it's a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Very heavy. Ten of Wands. Woo. Burdens. And then the Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. And you have the Gemini reversed here. Unacquainted Love with a Jimmy. Uh, a Jimmy is... Okay, so then you have the Six of... The Six of Wands, feeling victorious, wanting to prove themselves right. A lot of wands. Wow. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> nine of Cups. God is always on time because literally this Nine of Cups was on the bottom and I put it back and it came back out and it flew out. Like, you're going to take this. Someone is not wish fulfilled. Someone wants to be fulfilled, but they're not. Pisces partner. Mm. Is another queen. Have the Queen of Swords. It could be a male as well. It could be a another crazy but Gemini. Wow, look at all these cards that flew up. So you do have the Hermit of Virgo energy. This is because of searching and not happy. Okay. And then you have the page of uh pentacles. I have an offer to offer you. It's not much, is a is a is a talk, is a chit chat for coffee. You have the seven of cups reversed. Alright, so this someone needs to make a choice here. And then you have the baby mother, baby father issue or something domestic in the house that's going on here. Um, or someone is pregnant with a new idea or someone might become pregnant. This is your partner energy. So someone could be pregnant on their end. Or they might have some problems with their baby mother, baby father for the reason why you guys cannot get along. And the reason why you guys are trying to make a final choice here. You have the star Focus on healing. Your partner is thinking about healing. They might be coming in for an apology. Um, sorry. Got lotion in between my hands. They might be coming in for an apology. And then you got the death card. So it's like a rebirth. Someone definitely might wind up pregnant. Um, out of the blue. Suddenly just pregnant. And then you have... Wow, you have three major arcanas, two on the back and two in the front, so we're going to keep it all. You have the Cancer, you have an Aries with the Fool, you have the Death and the Emperor, so another Aries and enough, another uh, Scorpio here. Sorry for my words, I have um, been a little exhausted today. So yeah, you have also the Eight of Swords feeling mentally trapped as well. Um, I think you guys are marrying each other, you had the Eight of Swords before. That came out for Pisces on a nine of swords. Um, you have a knight. You have a king of swords at the bottom. A knight of of uh, cups. Energy. So, yeah, Pisces 
um we have almost every sign here for the partner it could be literally anyone who cut off communication or will cut off communication okay so we have towards the end aquarius scorpio aries for the partners we have an aries again a cancer and we have the taurus okay major arcana and we also have virgo major arcana searching so we have all these energies now we're going to clarify and find out what they want what is why they're here all right but um let's see what we can see before we clarify because this is definitely with these major arcanas we don't even need to clarify you have the star healing a rebirth with someone from the past who might be a high authority type of person someone who you might look up to you feel like they are knowledgeable about life you also have the fool here it's like risk someone who likes to take risk a risk taker jack of all trades as you can see the jackal here at the bottom here with the dog and just you know the jack of all trades this is a jackal someone who doesn't really take life serious they always take a high risk really uh high risk things just go with the flow and think about the consequences later. You also have the hermit. So someone might be searching for, um, or someone went off and searching for a better person, a better partner. And, um, and then wind up searching within a pregnant and got someone pregnant or a baby mother, I'm thinking. Because you have the mother and the father here. You have the emperor and the empress, which is the mother and father of the tarot. So it could have been a baby mother, baby father that the partner was dealing with in the past. Or currently. Okay. Then you have the chariot. It's like moving forward. Okay. Wanting to move forward towards you. Now, if they're not dealing with someone from their past, they could be wanting to have a rebirth with you. And, and have a relationship with you. They could see themselves as the father figure. Or your your husband. That's what I'm getting. Or they could see you as the wifey material I'm seeing. And someone wants to offer you this. Um, this new beginning with the chariot. They are done searching. Okay. I think they want to make a decision during Virgo season. Alright. So that's what I see with all these major arcanas now. Um. We still have a story at the bottom with another woman here. Now, this was the past, so it probably or perhaps was a Queen of Wands here and the past that uh, your partner was working on a relationship with because I don't even see the Queen of Cups in their energy for you. Only I see this woman here. All right. As another woman, the Taurus is not our energy as well. The Empress is a Taurus energy. So they could have been dealing with the Taurus, another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. That person left them burdened. And they wasn't wish fulfilled and happy. So this is what they want to tell us. But they want to come back after having all these options. No longer having options now. And want to come and offer you just a page. But it's a small page. Yeah, I think you're looking at this like, well... I don't know at this point because it's just too much. I'm emotionally drained. Okay, let's clarify and find out what the storyline. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Pisces Spirit? Seven of Pentacles and a Page of Wands. So someone wants to work on things with the Seven of Pentacles. If you're a female Pisces, you might have a male figure who wants to work on things. Who wants to work really hard, actually. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is like working hard but not re really reaping. Someone is expected to reap rewards with you. This could be you too, Pisces. Expecting to get some type of reward after working on things with someone and you don't get it. Because maybe you even fell out of passion with them with the Page of Wands reverse. Maybe your passion just slowly just dried out. You're like, I can't. Um, or you feel like you was working too hard. You didn't get what you expected out of this, right? Yeah. Why is this Knight of Cups here reversed? It's also reversed. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's You're not feeling happy and victorious here. 
So you're looking for another partner maybe with this King of Cups. You're just searching again. You might be holding on to your real true feelings as well for this partner. Not telling them what you really feel. Yeah. Taking a... You're not... It's about this uh, fool is, is also here within your partner's energy. Taking this leap of faith. Um, but you're not... You're not sure because you have this star reversed. Or maybe you're realizing like you made a mistake. You you took the leap and now you have regrets maybe. With the star being reversed. Right. Why is the, um, it's like an imbalance here. Why is the strength reversed as well? You also have the strength reversed. So you do have the death card. Mm. You're feeling like you need to dead something or something needs to come to an end. Regarding controlling or giving up control and some type of emotional connection because this, all this water is here. You're thinking about walking away with the three of wands. Yeah, because you're heavy burdened. You can't carry someone else's burdens here. Or you're tired. You feel like something is a sneaky with the fox in here. It's a fox here. Is it sneak is it is it sneaky? The fox is sneaky. Why is the um ten of cups here? Mm. Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. Yeah, it was another woman for sure. You have the Queen of Wands twice. You knew or found out about another woman, another partner. Um, cozy and not with your partner and it's something that's yeah something that hurts you or something you feel backstabbed with the seven of swords here you feel betrayed and backstabbed all right ten of cups wish fulfillment all right so hmm. it, it could be someone from the past or someone new someone you're dealing with now why is there hanging in here someone that's left hanging here whoa all right, the world is here. The four chalices and the mother, okay? This is a baby mother. She's pregnant, obviously. So, Pisces, you might be stuck self-sacrificing yourself for other people. And you're, you're willing to just reject someone. It could be a baby mother, baby father figure. I don't know, but you're just not with it because you're going to feel stuck. It's someone from your past as well. You also have this abundance. You need to save your own money. Queen of Cups finally here again. Wow. You're holding your own cup. This is the future for you, Pisces. You're going to have money, but the love is not going to be there. All right. Why is the Two of Wands here? And then you're going to have to go back to Wands and continue to wait for someone to come to be a better suit. Ooh. Look at God. You got the devil. You got the world card about traveling, and then the nine of wands being defensive, and the seven of swords backstabbed. Someone is gonna backstab you. Okay. Yep. Seven of swords. That's a liar here. And you're going to get, and then you also have the seven of chalices reverse, not having an option. Seven, seven, no longer having these options, um, limiting your options. You're ready to throw in a towel. Why is the three of coins here for the partner? Four of swords. Thinking up, someone is sitting here scheming and thinking up a master plan, how to get back into your good graces here. After they was lollygagging and dealing with another queen here. Why is this queen? Whoa. Yeah. Something was sneaky and secretive as, you know, with the five of swords and the moon. Hmm. And it was confirmed with this queen, a queen of uh, wands, man. That's just on the money here. On the money. can't even ask spirit spirit of, <laughs> said put that moon card right back out my guard of money finances burdens why is the nine of wands here wow it's a tower moment 
and the eight regarding love. This is your partner, though. They're having a towel moment financially and emotionally. Shit coming crashing down. You can run, but you can't hide, is what I'm getting from spirit. Why is the six of wands here for the partner? The five of chalices and the seven of wands. Someone is definitely feeling regretful here. This is the five of cups, mourning a loss, crying over spilled milk. Okay, and uh, someone is not per not trusting actually you. They're not trusting to love again or trusting this commitment here. And then you got the will of karma. Someone re received their karma or will, and it will come crashing down financially. And uh, but they got an ace of cups to offer you or someone after this a big crash. And then you have this strength card here. The crone lady is here about control and attainment. Um, and then you got wow, the soulmate after some karmic debt is paid. Finally, someone might be a soulmate. This is the partner, so so yeah, they're gonna offer you love and passion after they have their towel moment. And the reason why it's that baggage is because of the ten of wands is heavy burdens carrying burdened. And the towel is here. You have two aces for the partner, emotional and sexual passion and the Ten of Cups. This is this is literally bliss on top of the Two of Cups that was just here. Where's the Two of Cups? This is literally bliss. But it's going to come with a heavy price. And I said this in the previous reading, Pisces. Um, let's see, because they need to come with some money, child. Why, like, please, would you accept this apology? Can we have a restart? Can we start all over? But when you start, it's a small pentacle. Why is this pentacle here? I might also speak of a child. Um, you got the two of wands reversed. Now, this kid might be something secretive or some lie about a kid or about the offer they want to give you. It might not be anything special. And you might wind up with a broken heart, even with the love and passion and the ten of... It's like they giving you love and passion and emotions, but where is the abundance? The abundance is missing here. Um, so, someone is also online dating. And then you have the high priestess here. You have the juggling, the three of wands, online dating, and the high priestess reversed. Someone might be um, sneaking behind your back and talking to someone in the distance. Alright. If they're not, they're actually trying to silence you slowly. They might silence you, turn their back on you. Or they could be uh, with the three of wands. They could be waiting for your ships to come in and making a decision. But the high priestess is reversed. It's about silence. It's about hidden secrets, keeping things secretive. And then you have the Ten of Swords and the, and the Chariot at the bottom, reverse, feeling stuck. Might be a Cancer, crazy, but Gemini. Another Pisces is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, um, and you got the Battle Wagon, reverse, and then the Ten of Swords. It's like you're sitting here thinking about, am I going to put this mother lover in this damn pot? Wow, let me see Pisces final advice for us. This is heavy. Ooh, commitment for wands. Commit to yourself. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here, child. Okay. Why is this four wands here? Whoa. Okay. Alright. Five of swords. Someone is a liar here. You have also with the paired with the king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a commitment, a marriage. Here's the hair of font. Someone might be already married. Seven of Swords, it comes with more lies. Five and Seven of Swords, this is a lie on top of a lie here. Page of Cups, Reverse, and the Empress about a baby mother, baby father. Someone could be pregnant. 
Okay. Something is a lie about baby mother, baby father. You got the you got the hair font and the imprints. This is a couple here. A married couple, baby mother, baby father. Something is secretive about all of this. That is the final advice. And let's get Psalms and bless it. Oops, excuse me. Rebirth. So let's see. Pisces spirit, please bless us. Bless us, please. Wow, my cards are all over. Um, oh God, how majestic is your name and all of the earth Psalms 8 1. Surely God and my help, the Lord is the one who sustains me. Psalms 54 4. Alright, so let's get also um I'm like shaking and shit. Spirit keeps giving me giving me three freaking cards. Take off your mask, number eleven. Um, someone's wearing a false mask and you'll be a fake friend rising like a phoenix from the ashes after some type of pain and then healing all right Pisces so it sounds like you and letting the fuck go all right so it sounds like we need to do a lot of self-healing letting go um, I'm going to do healing because the last couple of readings Pisces has been going through a lot of turbulence okay and it has been very deep for the Pisces family we've been going through a lot um and um healing Pisces illness and pain in your body is a message for you to slow down and look within and make important changes if you're experiencing stress feel overwhelmed or suffering alignments in your body or feel exhausted and depressed it means that your body is trying to communicate with you your body wants you to start treating it in a more loving manner and listening to the messages it is sending you. You need to become conscious of the areas in your life that you are avoiding or suppressing. Healing takes time. It is a process. Your first step towards healing is to create a safe, loving, supportive environment where you can listen to your inner wisdom. The action to take. Take a few deep breaths and relax your body. Place your hands on the area in your body where you have pain. Ask your body, is there a message you want to give me? This message may come to you as thoughts, words, images, insights, feelings, and memories. Say, I call on my divine healing intelligence to help release all pain, blockages, and density, and density from this area. Watch and feel as the dense energy leaves your body. Say, I call on my divine healing intelligence to infuse this area with a green ray of light. I ask that all the immune mechanisms of my body be activated and my body now return to a state of perfect balance and health. Imagine a green light moving through your body and repairing it. Gently bring your awareness back to normal and open your eyes. Namaste. God bless you, Pisces.